What's up guys, my name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can move your Hyper-V virtual machine from one location to another. As you can see, I have a Windows 10 virtual machine here and if I go into my Hyper-V folder, Windows 10, virtual hard disks, you can see that it's taking up quite a bit of space. Opening up visualization software for this, you can see exactly how big each folder is. The virtual hard disks taking up 20 gigs, snapshots taking up one, and the rest of the files taking up a very minuscule five megabytes. So how exactly do we get to moving this to another disk? Well, it's super simple. Find the virtual machine you want to move, right click and hit move. Then hit next, move the virtual machines storage, next, and then you can go ahead and pick one of these options. Moving all of the virtual machines files will move all of these over here. Selecting just the virtual machines hard disks will move just this folder over here and the files inside of it. This being the biggest, but it does leave you with these other files here. I'm pretty sure it leaves snapshots as well. However, we're gonna go ahead and move all of the virtual machines data to a single location. Hit next and select a new folder. So I'll go to browse, pick my SSD that I wanna put it on, new folder, Hyper-V just for organization, and then I'll create a Windows 10 folder inside of here. Click select folder, and then hit next. After you're happy with where the files will be moved, simply hit finish. It'll then begin the moving process. Heading across to my SSD under Hyper-V, Windows 10, you can see that the files are here, virtual hard disks, it's currently being moved in bit by bit. So let's wait for this process to finish. So this process can take some time, but it's finally finished. All of my files have been moved across. Heading back to the visualization software, you can see that absolutely everything is moved across the same way that it was on my hard disk. It's now on my SSD. Heading back to my hard disks folders, you'll see that the folders still remain here. However, they are all completely empty. You can go ahead and delete the entire Hyper-V folder or Windows 10 folder off of your hard disk or wherever you moved it from if you don't plan on moving it back. So now that the move is complete, you can go ahead and start up the computer as normal and you'll see that it performs a lot better if you moved it from say a hard disk to an SSD. Otherwise, you'll just see that it starts up perfectly as normal. So for me, I notice a massive difference because it's running off of an SSD now instead of just a hard disk. So performance is a hell of a lot better, especially for even just browsing through the file system. It's just so much snappier. Anyways, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoots. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.